Good evening and welcome to the Town Hall Get to Know broadcast. I really appreciate everybody is going to take time to come and join us this evening. I have a very special guest. I am honored to have the uh, Bald Avenger, Mr. Jason Cisneros. And tonight we are talking about human trafficking. It's an issue that is on the minds of so many, and yet it's not out in the mainstream media. That's why we're going to be talking about it tonight. And we'll be talking about it as well on Sunday. We've got a two-hour special coming up on E360. You can watch us on your Roku, your uh, Amazon Fire, Apple, or Android TV with the E360 TV application. Two-hour special, human trafficking. What is human trafficking? Answers, awareness, and prevention. And tonight we're going to be talking with Jason Cisneros. He is a dynamic gentleman. I've known him for about a year and a half, approximately. He's an entrepreneur. He is a speaker and a philanthropist. He's also a mentor. And uh, Jason is a powerful influencer. Uh, he is a thought leader who's used his success and influence to feed millions of people around the globe, to fight for abused women, and to rescue underaged sex slaves. Yes, he travels the world to rescue your sons and daughters and bring them back home where they belong. From a life of abuse at the hands of his adopted father and living a, a, a gang as a gang member as a kid, you know, he was failing at first uh, in his first couple attempts at business. Uh, but what he did is he overcame insurmountable odds and he learned through his life experiences and his mistakes and he triumphs over the trials that he had made. He actually owns about two dozen businesses, if you can imagine that, consulted for hundreds of uh, business owners and has turned around 70 businesses. Uh, through the art of leadership and a science strategy, he has become the, quote, architect building structurally sound action and outcome driven businesses for himself and his clients. And without further ado, I would like to bring Jason into the studio. Welcome, Mr. Cisneros. Thank you for joining Hi. us. Uh, it's my pleasure, brother. Thanks for having me. You are very welcome. I'm very grateful that you're here. I know you're a very, very busy individual. I know that you're on a tight time schedule this evening as well. And so uh, if you would just do this, maybe just tell us, uh, tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. Uh, I've known you from actually the next impactor. You were involved in that. We don't have to go right into that, but just uh, help the fam uh, viewers familiarize themselves with you. Well, first off, I want to say thank you for bringing, uh, you know, using your platform to bring awareness to this, uh, to this subject. It's, it's something that we deal with, you know, day in and day out and, um, a lot of people like myself don't really know, uh, you know, a lot of them aren't exposed to the fact that it's actually happening and, and the actual numbers that it's actually happening at. So I'm really, really uh, proud of you. I'm really grateful to you for uh, putting together which, what we're going to talk about on Sunday. Um, that show is going to be really great. So if anybody's watching now, you might want to put it on your phone to to remind you to be there, but a um, little bit about me and, and, and it's the, the thing that I hate doing the most <laughs> is talking about myself, but, uh, but at the end of the day, um, you know, your listeners are going to be listening for their purposes and their outcomes. And so, you know, I, you know, all I ask for the audience to do is just always see a little bit of themselves through me. Um, because one of the things people are either a warning, um, or an example in life. And I've been both. <laughs> <laughs> right a warning what not to do uh was, right. uh, i was yeah, as you mentioned in the in the intro there i was raised by a guy that was not a very nice guy i ended up going to prison for attempted murder me and my mom when i was 17 and wow. um broke my nose know you know over a dozen over a dozen times on you know between six years old when he adopted me and 17 when he went to prison uh but you know what i learned was was you know how to deal drugs and how to fight real well. And so that's what I did when, when he went to prison, I just continued on because that's what I knew. And that's what I find a lot of people do. You know, we're there, there's a saying out there that says there's two, two major uh, points in your life. And one is when you're born. The other one's when you know why. Right. And, mm -hmm. and so a lot of people are still waiting for that moment to know why they were born. And, uh, and I know that I lived the life that I lived uh, to prepare me for the life that I live today. 
And that's one ultimately that if you fast forward past all the garbage and the learning and the failures and the divorces and the bankruptcies and, you know, and all that kind of stuff, it's just really to be of service, you know, and, and we have a phrase that says, hi, Carol, good to see her. Um, but it's a, it's, it's a, a, we have a phrase now that we run by, which is called ease, ease suffering by any means necessary. And, um, and so that's, that was my upbringing. And then, you know, I, I went from that to, you know, a, a minimum wage job and then I learned to trade and then I bought a business and I went bankrupt and I bought another business and went bankrupt and bought another business and went bankrupt. And then I, I kind of lost my mind. I fell, fell into a pretty deep depression. Um, and that was my knowing why I was born moment, went to work for Tony Robbins, um, kept really copious notes of my business failures, which was, um, now I know an oddity, uh, because most people just keep failing the same way every time and blaming something different. <laughs> right? right. And, um, and so, uh, I took those notes and I took the time that I was on the road with Tony being one of his speakers, uh, to, to in interview as many, I've. I say interview now, but it was more like interrogate <laughs> business owners along the way. And right. I took line by line my failures and I asked them questions about what they would have done. Turned that into a system, uh, started doing turnarounds, then started buying my own companies again and have, have then built a, a pretty decent company. And then at the beginning of last year, um, I sold a bunch. It was great timing. You know, I sold a bunch of my companies and uh, have been pretty much full time in the consulting company, because that's one way that we fight trafficking and hunger and domestic violence is by making money and helping good people make money. That's why I kept the consulting company because it's an extension of, of the philanthropic work that I do. Um, right. And, you know, a lot of business owners don't have to go through the pain and learning and stuff that, that I did um, because they use our, our company. But uh, then and and then again, really throwing myself into the world of of rescues and and feeding people on domestic violence. So that's where I spend most of my time these days. That's really awesome. And and I think that you hit the nail on the head there, where you said that you learned from you know the mistakes and and the failures that you had, and you used that to become your strength. And then surrounded yourself with people like Tony Robbins, and then found out the answers, and then went forward. I love the idea of the fact, and, and I've known for some time that you, uh, that human trafficking is a very special thing for you and, and that, uh, that you take it very seriously. Maybe you can tell the viewers about that. I know that this is a, it's a tough su subject. And if we didn't put the, um, the disclaimer up there, please, if you have children, there might be something said tonight that's not necessarily appropriate for children because this really is an adult discussion, but as you'll see, we're, as we're talking tonight and, and Sunday, by the way, that's at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's not for the kids, but it's so that we can learn, so that we can protect our kids, so that they don't yeah. become the victims, because that's what the important factor is here. Yeah. So, and tell us about why this is so special for you, Jason. Well, it's interesting because as I, you know, started to do well in business again, I, I always knew that there was a deep back in my life that was supposed to happen. And 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 I did that uh, mainly through domestic violence because that was my background. I, you know, my my mom got beat a lot. And that's why I got my nose broken so many times was stepping in front of her to take her beatings. And um uh, and so one night I got invited to a fundraiser for this thing called trafficking, and I I didn't really know what it what it was. And I watched it and it was about this, this subject uh, of trafficking uh, underage children for, for the purposes of uh, prostituting them out. And, um, and I got out of that movie, I wrote a check and, and I got in my car and I couldn't, and I'm a father of, of three daughters and two sons. And, um, and I couldn't go home. I mean, I couldn't go home. I went to a park and I cried and I hit the, the steering wheel and, and even now, I mean, it, bring, it always brings back the emotions, no matter, I mean, how, how many rescues I've been through now, um, it always brings back those emotions of just having a broken, a broken heart and a broken soul for the depravity of what, of what mankind is capable of. And, um, you know, you're talking about babies and, you know, eight months old, uh, all the way up to 18 and. And, um, and it really broke my heart. And I, I went live that next morning 
after not having slept all night and crying. And, and I just said, I don't know what I'm going to do about this, but I'm going to do something. And, you know, as, as fate would have it, uh, one of the people that was at the fundraiser asked me to go undercover with them on a mission because of my background um, growing up, they knew that I would be a, a pretty decent asset in those scenarios. And so I went and the things that I saw broke my heart even more, but what it did, and a lot of people can identify with this is it pissed me off. Like the things that I saw, um, the people that were doing it, um, you know, that kind of thing. It, you know, we ended up getting 36 little girls and putting 11 traffickers away on that mission. But, but it, but it, 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 it fired me up in a different way before I was broken hearted and not knowing what to do. Right. Versus right. now I know what to do and I know it's a problem and I'm a problem solver. That's all I do in business. You know, as, as I look at anybody that's open and, and running a business, you know, we can fix, improve and optimize that. And right. it was the same way in this particular subject. I was like, you know, whatever we have to do, we got to raise money. We have to raise awareness. Right. We have to change the law so that, you know, a trafficker goes to jail for longer. You know, right now. In, in a lot of different places, you go to jail longer for having an eight ball of cocaine in your pocket than you do for trafficking a young, uh, a young girl. Wow. And, uh, and so we got to change the laws and we have yeah. to have aftercare and we have to have recovery for the family after they've gone through it. And, you know, and then prevention and then getting in with the people that are the perpetrators and, 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 you know, changing their lives and, and so that they don't do these horrific things and, you know, all of that stuff. And it gave me a framework by which I could attack the problem. And I just so happened, not everybody has the skill sets to be able to go undercover and do the things that we do. But, um, but at the end of the day, everybody has the ability to get involved. And so, yes. you know, we, I, I partnered up with um, Pastor Rudy Gonzalez from CERT Ministries, uh, X-Force Recon Marine, uh, with one of the greatest families I've ever met, his two daughters. Uh, are more scary than me and uh <laughs> they're they're beautiful too so they take you by by surprise a little and then his wife's an absolute angel but that's um you know that's kind of what we do now and and um you know the life i'm living now this this is so admirable uh jason i mean I, i'm just i just yeah it's like i can't even come up with words it's so awesome i'm glad to be a part of this and i'm so glad to be having this panel having you here as it as a, a predecessor to the sunday show the uh viewers jason is going to be on this panel seven o'clock sunday night eastern standard time what is human trafficking uh answers awareness and prevention and we're going to be talking about the things that, so that you can learn about this because i'm curious what you think about the fact that you know 50,000 people are uh imported and trafficked into the u.s every year uh, what kind of steps are being taken to curtail these numbers jason well the number is much higher than that um mm -hmm. you know may it, well 50,000 maybe being imported but i mean we have a domestic problem that is much higher 500,000 you know oh, they wow. it's eight it's 800,000 um children are abducted every year and and wow. of that 800,000 you've got 300,000 of them that are kind of you know taken in divorces and you know and and that that kind of thing uh that goes on but you got 500,000 children that are being taken from your your na your town that you live in wow. you know not not all of them but you but what yeah. i'm saying is in all of our 50 states in puerto rico um you have abductions that are happening all the time you have traffickers that are operating in in broad daylight you have um you know the, the black uh the black web or the dark web um right. where people are, are operating right under your noses and a lot of them are your you know there you've got your dentists and your doctors and your your teachers and your, you know what I mean? They're, they're, yeah. so you just gotta, you know, you gotta pay attention. And I, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to your show on Sunday yeah. to tell people how to do that. Yeah. And also one word I would add to your show is action, you know, cause action. awareness is great. Gotta you know, pre prevention is great. You know, all, all of these things are great, but if you don't take action, then there's not going to be anything that, is, that, that changes because it's you, the viewer, you know, we're doing everything that we possibly can on our side. You're doing what you can, you know, with your platform, but it's the viewer and it's the millions of people that we need to stand up um, 
to address this problem so that it so that it goes away because it's one of the fastest growing crimes on the face of the planet and not that many know about it and not that many when people do know about it you could put a hashtag save the children on 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 facebook but then it just becomes another ice bo- ice bucket challenge right. right which is a lot of people see it they go oh my god that's bad and then they move on to the next issue which you know it is not our uh, we want to we want to kind of put a stake in the ground here and say this is this this ain't right like i you know right. i mean i als is a horrifying disease and we need help to help on that and i didn't i'm not making light of it i'm just saying that that campaign did absolutely nothing for their bottom line because it was just awareness right we didn't right. say if we do an ice bucket challenge and then put five buckets five dollars back in the empty bucket right. now we would have had something right 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 but right. um right. And that's- Part of what we're going to be doing, I mean, this whole thing that I put together is actually a fundraiser as well uh, to benefit the survivors of human trafficking because they need help and they need support like you were talking about. Absolutely. And as well, even as the perpetrators need help to overcome the kind of whatever is creating them to think that they should be doing these things. We need to fix everything because we do want to put to a a stop to it. And it does take you the viewer to take action, to do something about that and to help to support these organizations uh, like myself, as well as like uh, rise of the butterfly and Jason's organizations to be able to go out there and make a difference because we are going to make a difference and I plan on it. Um, you held a function here recently, uh, Jason, in Salt Lake City a few weeks ago. How did that go? And, and I'm curious, what did you learn and what can people do locally to get the issue of human trafficking out in front of more people? Well, you know, it was during, I was sitting at the, you know, uh, watching TV as I was going to sleep one night. And, and I was really frustrated by a lot of the things that I was seeing on TV and, you know, and, and you know, marches and riots and, and all these things that were going on. Right. And I got so I got so angry inside because I thought to myself, I have a real a real world description of what a victim is, you know, and a victim is somebody who's had choice ripped out of their life. Domestic violence. Everybody's like, well, why doesn't the woman leave? It's because she's a prisoner in her own, own home and it could look like the prettiest house. And it look at, you know, it doesn't have to be it, it's not the picture of what everybody thinks it is. It's that, you know, they're, they're scared to leave, you know, like in my mom's case. Um, and then, you know, you have children and people around the world that have, we have enough food to feed everybody, but we don't have the distribution uh, uh, ability to be able to do it because you have people that are using food as control in, you know, sort of socialist type scenarios, um, control in Africa, uh, tribal, you know, different things where they're controlling food. And, um, and then you have, you know, Mother Nature works pretty hard against us sometimes with droughts and whatnot, right? But nobody in 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 that, and then of course trafficking. Nobody in those scenarios um, decided to wake up one day and say, "I want to be a victim." You know what I mean? They had choice ripped out of their life. They don't they don't have a a thing to overcome that you know of the seven billion people on the planet that seven billion people have to address prejudice and things that are against them regardless of what, what they look like or, or what gender they are. Um, and, and at the end of the day, um, that's the area that I want to work is I want to work with people that have choice taken from their lives. And I want to put that choice back in their hands. Now what they do with it and ultimately becomes their own. Right. And, and so all we want to do, and Pastor Rudy will tell you quickly that we don't really rescue anybody. We just offer them their freedom. You know, and and um, and that's kind of what we're passionate about is making sure that these girls have know that there's another side of life, know that there's people that love them, know that there's people that we're looking for them, know that 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 men are not all like that. And that and that there is a, a different side of life for you to be able to participate in and um, and and bring that light you know, of God, you know, or, or Jesus or, or, you know, whatever uh, religion they happen to be a part of to say, look, something, something bigger than this and me and you and everything else is looking out for you and you have a choice. That, that's beautiful. And that is the important factor is, is that whether it's a, a God or Jesus uh, that you might believe in, 
you know, the higher power, that universal consciousness, it wants us to serve our communities and help our communities and express love. I believe that we all are love. Now, I know that you are on tight time schedule. I know that you got some very important business related to what we've been talking about. And mm -hmm. so uh, I have one quick question again for you. And then folks, remember that we're going to have Jason back on Sunday. Uh, but I've got one more question for him before he needs to go. So, yes, the hill, and, and this is interesting too, this question, because this morning when I scheduled this broadcast and it creates a Facebook post, interestingly enough, and it's the second time in a couple of weeks, it did not get produced. It did not, it got censored. It was not allowed to print. So, okay, fair enough. That's why we're on TV, okay? Because we aren't <laughs> going to be stopped, all right? Facebook yep. can do as they please, but we are on Roku and we are on Amazon Fire and nobody's going to stop us because this is an important topic and we are going to have our voice. Now, why do you think that this issue of human trafficking is being suppressed and it's not on the news every night. And all we seem to hear about is other things that don't seem to have a lot of relevance to what's really super important about what's going on in our communities. Do you think the mainstream media is suppressing this issue, Jason? Uh, you know, I, I, I don't cuss on other people's shows. <laughs> and, I know you, you cuss. I, you know, I love that you do. <laughs> and, I, I'm guilty and, of it too. I'll, I'll say yeah. that. You cussed and, and, I, and, I, and I don't get political <laughs> in, uh, in other people's houses, right? So, so, <laughs> right. It, so uh, what I will tell you is the obvious answer. I mean, even in the last 24 to 48 hours, they got caught cold. I mean, between the media and social media. Uh, operating as as one and a and a third arm of a of a of a particular campaign, but they got caught cold, and and so the answer is yes, there is definitely bias. Now, why is that? Um, one of the things that I will say, this is not a political statement. I want to make sure everybody knows. Okay, right? No political. Trump has financed this fight more than any other president in the history of the United States. Okay. Amen. So, so that, so that being one of his campaign issues, right. And one of the things that he's worked on um, has it obviously, you know, and I understand the political realm, right. You, you gotta, you gotta fight again. This is one I don't understand. Okay. This is one I don't understand what it's happening. It's happening to the children of the people who are, are blocking it. It's happening in, in across the board. And so I don't understand it, but it is definitely, definitely happening. But that's the thing that I could pinpoint it to is to say, if it was on the other side of the aisle, it would get a lot more attention. Um, if it wasn't a, a campaign or not even a campaign thing, it's just something that he does, which most people don't even know about. Um, you know, if it was something like that, I think it would get more, more traction. And then, you know, anything that, that, that people don't agree with on one side, they call it a conspiracy theory. It's not a conspiracy mm -hmm. theory. No. So, um, you know, so yes, it's happening. And like you said, so be it, you know, yeah. there will be a day when, when Facebook and when Twitter and when uh, all these other platforms will have competitors because they shun a great portion of their, their uh, um, user base. And, um, and, and that will happen. It's just not happening right now. Yeah. And, and they can do what they want. I understand how that works. Uh, it is yep. not, uh, the right for us to, we have the right to free speech, but we don't have the right to free speech on privately owned companies, face uh, platforms, period. I know that, yep. but that's okay with me. The fact is, is that there is a movement to bring this stuff to the enlightenment. I mean, Melania Trump is, is a big supporter of this whole project and we are raising the awareness and i want to appreciate you very much for the fact that you took time to come and join us this evening as well as coming back on sunday for our panel where it's going to be very informative very instructive and yes we are going to have a call to action we want the community to step up and be a part of helping us put an end to human trafficking do you have some final thoughts here for us jason I, I, my final thoughts are again, just thank you, brother, for putting your time, effort, heart, and and your platform on the line for this. Um, and and you know, and for people to, if if you're watching this and you see this, 
grab a neighbor, grab a, a bunch of people and just watch on Sunday. I mean, Hey, I can be pretty entertaining. You never know what I'm going to say. Um, <laughs> and, and it's a very, very important subject. So just grab some people, make sure you're there. First of all, make sure that, that, um, you bring a notebook cause you're going to learn a lot. Uh, about the subject that you can actually do something about. And, uh, and just again, thank you, brother. I appreciate you a lot. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I'm honored again, as I said, uh, grateful for you to be here. And so very pleased that you're going to be with us on Sunday as well. Um, how can people reach out to you? Uh, I know that you've got a lot going on, but if they want to get a hold of you, what's the best way to do that, Jason? Well, my consulting company, which is kind of the, the, you know, an apex of, you know, Jason and the bald Avenger and, and my business world, it's uh, AntonJ.com, A-N-T-O-N-J-A-E.com. And you can read about what we do to help companies. And then those companies go on to, to fund a lot of the work that we're doing. So um, that's how. That's awesome. Sweet. All right. All right. Appreciate Thank you, you for, man. Bless you. I'll see you on Have Sunday. Good evening. Thank you, yeah, you too. Take care. We'll see you Sunday. Thank you. Bye, Randy. Yeah. See you. Awesome. So that is just so awesome. I've got the chills. I tell you what, I just, it's incredible that Jason took time. I know he's such a busy guy. He's got so much going on. Uh, and, you know, his, his main love of life and passion is to help other people, to serve other people. That's just the same as the LWN Live with Nature Foundation. That's what we are. We are a resource for positive transformational change. We are so glad to be able to be sharing about human trafficking and how uh, just treacherous the situation is and how it's taking place as we'll get into this on Sunday at such very high levels. It will blow your mind. I mean, there's a lot of people involved here and there's also a lot of reasons for them to n suppress the news and suppress this, uh, you know, uh, people like myself and people like Jason. I, I just can't even believe that I can't post a, uh, you know, a show and they didn't want it to go apparently, but we're going no matter what. The so police. the thought police, exactly. You know, we're not going to be censored. Uh, we won't. And if they want to censor us, that's all well and fine. But we're still going to talk about the things that are important. And one of those things that are important is the fact that our children are at risk. I mean, it's a sad situation, I have to admit. You know, when I think about the fact that, you know, and I struggled with this for years, to be honest, with my granddaughter, and it's like, wow, I really want to tell her, don't trust anybody. Don't, you know, don't get fooled. And we need to do this. I promise you we do. There's Randy. Did I lean in there? <laughs> Randy leaned in. Um, thanks, Randy, for your help. Yeah, I appreciate what you're doing for us too as that. well. Um, so the thing is, is that, yeah, so my granddaughter, I don't really want to have to tell her not to, to like people. But the fact is, is that we have to do this. Um, for their safety, for our peace of mind. So we're going to be talking about education. Now, I've put together a panel of seven experts, and that's happening on Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It is called What is Human Trafficking? It is about uh, answers with respect to it. It's going to be some statistics, but we have doctors, we have psychologists, we have the police. It's going to be an exceptional show and I'm very excited for it. It's two hours. Now you can be watching that on your E360 uh, application for your smart TV. You can go to also E360.com. It's airing right there as well. Uh, it's also on my website, www.lwnfoundation.org. And you can then go to that website and go right to YouTube because we're streaming as well right now to YouTube, Amazon Fire, uh, Roku, uh, Facebook, um, and um, I was thinking Apple and Android TV. So, you know, we're, we're going to a lot of places. The point is we're trying to get our message out. And what I want to do right now, though, is to thank, you know, the viewers. I really appreciate the fact that you've taken time to come and join me. You're what keep me going and keep me in a forward motion to keep on doing the things that I do. And because you let me know that it's like, wow, that's good. It gives me just joy beyond explanation. 
it, this journey that I've been on for the last three years is quite an, an interesting journey. The fact that I've been able to do live Facebook stuff and it evolve all the way into three separate TV shows, now doing it four times a week. And by the way, if this is the first time you're watching, we're now doing the town hall on Mondays at seven, as we have been, and we'll be doing it on Fridays as well. Monday mornings, you can watch 7 a.m., the Sunrise Daybreakers Tribe, where we welcome in a brand new day to celebrate the fact that, number one, we're alive. Okay, let's watch the sun come up. Let's connect to nature. Let's connect to source. Let's connect to the community. And it's gone all the way to a nonprofit foundation. Now, what I put together here on Sunday is such a dynamic show with people like Dr. Jenny is going to be there as well. Uh, we love Dr. Jenny. We watch her on San, Sun, or excuse me, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Okay, I've got Dr. Bob. I've got Dr. Sophie. I have Jody Parr. I'm so excited to have Jody Parr. She is a survivor and an advocate for human trafficking. Okay, she that's, has got a, what? That's Dr. Bob Choate and Dr. Sophie Nubani. Oh yeah, did I not say it all? <laughs> We also have Layla Love, and I just want to let everybody know now, the LWN Live with Nature Foundation has actually uh, joined forces with Rise of the Butterfly. That's a nonprofit foundation uh, that was created by Layla Love as well as Gloria Steinem and uh, years ago, and it's all about supporting the survivors of human trafficking. What we have done is this, and I'm still putting all that stuff together, but you, Layla was on the show earlier this week on Monday. If you hadn't seen that episode, definitely go back, watch that replay. What a dynamic, loving, caring person, I tell you. She created a foundation to use, she's an artist. So she has all this beautiful art and some of the, you know, in Tiffany's and stuff uh, all over the world in some of the finest galleries. Anyways, point being, all of the proceeds that she gets that goes right straight to help people. She's got a brand new clothing line that she's going to use the proceeds to help survivors. We are going to have all these products available. You can go to LaylaLoveArt.com and get those, those items in her store, but make sure that you put in LWN 10 in the promo code and you'll get 10% off. Excellent. So we're, we're going to be raising funds. It's going to culminate in December. And we're going to have a big fundraiser. But in the meantime, you can donate to the LWN Foundation to help us support these messages and to get our message out to others and, and to keep things going and to help us support the uh, New Life Referral Center that we're about to open here shortly, where we're helping people get to the resources that they need, whether it's food or clothing or mental health support, uh, healthy living uh addiction recovery because that's a special one to me because i went down that path and of course the homelessness because the uh, the the addiction took me to the homelessness but i'm telling you right here and now if you're listening there is always hope and there's hope for no matter who or what we might experience in our life some of this stuff is unbelievable and some of it i can't relate to but some of it i have empathy for and and can understand that i want to help people. The Lord put a message into my brain and into my life and to my purpose is to serve others and to help the community help the community help itself. We all together as a community are going to make a huge impact. We're going to make a huge impact in human trafficking and we are going to make an impact in people's lives. We're going to get the homeless off the streets. We're going to reduce the crime. We're going to get people off of drugs. And ultimately, we're going to have that uh, New Life Transformational Center here. And we're going to give them an inpatient place, a place where people like the human trafficking survivors can go to and get therapy and help and, and relearn the skills that it takes to integrate back into society. That's our purpose. It really is our purpose. Now, I know that uh, tonight might be a little bit shorter than normal, but I just want to do this uh, again is to thank our viewers. I think I'd like to go to, we've got a quick commercial here. Let's go to a commercial break and I'll be right back in just a moment.
we let our bathtub go too long. It had rust in it, it had deep pitting in it, there were chips. I quite frankly thought it was unrepairable. Total Coatings is a family owned and operated bathtub and shower refinishing company. We've been around since 2006, but we use a exclusive non-toxic porcelain coating that was developed over 60 years ago by a franchise in California. So the product is very well established. We refinish bathtubs, showers, wall tile, uh, countertops, and even sinks. Customers want to know what makes our product different, and that's of course the exclusive non-toxic porcelain. We also don't acid etch the surface, so you don't have to leave your home because of noxious fumes. I was completely and utterly shocked. It looked like a brand new bathtub. I would recommend total coatings to anybody. We want to thank Total Coatings for sponsoring uh, this program, the Town Hall Get to Know broadcast. Thank you very much. Um, you had a question? Do we have any questions from, from the viewers? If we don't, that's fine. I would just want to let everybody know, uh, again, I know it might be repetitive, but we've got uh, a, a focus here at the LWN Live with Nature. The, our focus for the next two and a half months, all the way through December, is all about human trafficking and coming up with solutions. Well, we did talk earlier, and Jason made a point of the fact that action is part of it. And I know that if you've watched my videos before, you have heard me say everything starts with a thought. But then it takes an action plan to actually make something happen. Thoughts are very powerful. And in some cases, things can manifest rather instantaneously in some cases with just that single thought. But if we're careful with our thoughts, which we need to be, and then we put an action plan behind it, and then we start doing the things that I believe that God intended us to do, and we're all different. We all have special skills. We all have these seeds of greatness. It's just a matter of nurturing those seeds and then getting to the point where we know what is our purpose because we all have these special talents. And then when you can take your talent and actually make that your job, boy, you're not even working anymore. It's a wonderful thing. Uh, you know, and, and that's what I love. I do have a daily job. Many people know that I get to transform tubs and I get to transform uh, tile and countertops and sinks, old stuff that people might just demolish and throw away for no good. And I refinish it and give it new life and have the opportunity to number one, keep it out of the dump, you know, stop adding more trash to our dumps, but give something new life. And it's, fun. And I do that through the uh, foundation, the LW, uh, LWN Live with Nature Foundation. So my whole thing is, is I, I get to transform tubs on the day job, but I get to transform lives every day. And that's my focus. And I look forward to the day that I can just be 100% working at this. So but in the meantime, I really appreciate you. I want to remind you that you can watch me on your Roku E360 TV app. Download it if you have a smart TV or if you just have a computer, go to E360.com and you can watch this show. We, I'm um, trying to remember, they changed the name. I am in a couple different places, Beauty, Health and Wellness. And that's the Do Ask Dr. Jenny show. That's on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. And then positive vibrations i believe is what they've changed it to so under positive vibrations we have the morning sunrise daybreakers tribe where we're welcoming in the brand new day and then we also have the town hall get to know and now that's at mondays at seven and fridays at seven i'm so excited about this i had to add another day to the town hall just because we've got so much going on here now when we do this special on sunday then following that, I'm going to be having the rest of the panelists on the town hall get to know. And so we'll be doing an individual one on one with everybody and going a little bit further with the whole topic of human trafficking. And then it will culminate in a fundraiser where the funds are going to go to help support those that have been uh, victimized as a result of human trafficking. And so uh, with that, um, did we have any questions or? No, 
not really questions. Everybody, no questions? Everybody was just learning instead of You're learning? questions. You're learning? Excellent. That's what we need to do. Every day is the opportunity, opportunity to learn and to grow. When we do that, we get to meet new people. We get to experience new stuff. And you know what? It's all about perspective. And, and I'm just going to give you this analogy. Remember to be grateful because I know that right now things are tough for a lot of people. Okay. It's tough for everybody. We all got different stuff going on. But the thing about it is, is that it can, it can get to the point where it seems overwhelming, but then just step back, take a walk in nature, just, just, uh, go down to the park, take some time out for yourself. Because if you take care of yourself, then you're able to take care of everybody else around you, your family, your friends, and the community much better. Um, and so my point is this, if you take care of yourself, you're able to take care of others better. Everything started with that thought. You put that action plan together and you can break through the barriers that we have. I was saying that we all have difficulties that are going on in our lives, but we can overcome them. It's about perspective. So I want to use this analogy. The analogy is, is that of a person uh, that says, you know, well, okay, today's the day that I have to wash my laundry. Man, I just really hate having to wash that laundry. That really sucks. It's so drudgery. It's so boring. I can't stand it. <sighs> well, I guess we'll have to wash the laundry. Well, instead of being unhappy about it or complaining about that, and that's just one instance of many, we should be grateful for the fact, number one, we have clothes to wash. Number two, that you have the detergent to wash the clothes in and the washing machine and a roof over your head. I'm telling you, running water. Because everybody doesn't have that stuff. And I tell you, I know because I was homeless. And I know what it's like to have none of that. It, we need to get grateful for the little stuff. The fact that we are alive is super important. We are alive for a reason. So that we can actually do something with our lives, not be unhappy. I don't think God intended us to be unhappy. He intended us to be as happy and healthy as we possibly could be. So we have to change our thinking. And that's what we teach here at the LWN, Live with Nature Foundation, is the routines, healthy routines that you can implement into your life to be able to become a success at just about anything you want. You know, yes, I have a higher power. That higher power I call God. I am talking about the universal consciousness, universal thought, I, hundreds of names for God, different religions. It doesn't matter. We're all talking about the same thing. That creative consciousness that, that is, it, it's there. And so when we tap into that and we let that be a guide for our lives, and we turn like I did myself, my life and my will over to the care of my higher power, whom I understand as God. My life started getting better. I started being grateful for the small things that I had. For the fact that I have a cup and some ice and some water. It's not an Atlanta Braves mug. No, it's not an Atlanta Braves mug. <laughs> it would be a Tampa Rays mug if it was anything. No. <laughs> but yeah world series right folks okay so the bottom line is this is is that we got a lot of great stuff coming here i appreciate everybody that takes time to come and oh here's here's the brave stuff you see <laughs> yes we have the spring training uh center right down here in northport florida just south of us <laughs> and the rays are just uh 15 miles away from there rays are just up north right so anyways Poor yeah Charlie. we're tampa bay rays fans and Randy's a killer, uh, just died in the wool. Braves long, fan. Long time diehard Braves die fan. Hard. Die hard was the word for it. So, <laughs> you know, all right. We love baseball. We were both baseball players when we were kids. But Steve was better. <laughs> Thanks, Randy. He had the higher batting average. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's why I was clean up, I guess. Um, so anyways, point being this, we love you. We care about you. We want you to join us, you know, on Sunday, 7 p.m., what is human traffic? What is human trafficking? We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the answers that we can come up with to put a stop to it. We're going to be talking about raising the, that awareness, asking for your help 
to make a difference and then giving you so much information that you can use if you have kids to talk to your kids and try and prevent this. I know that I started out on it's a bad thing when I had to worry about telling my granddaughter that to not trust anybody, but you have to be extremely careful. And there's so many ways that they can come at us and they do it good and they're smart at it and they've gotten good, but we, we're going to expose this deal. We're going to give up their secrets and we are going to work towards exposing the people that are sitting particularly at the top of this deal, allowing this stuff to keep on going on. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to put a stop to it, but we need your help. You can donate to the LWN Live with Nature Foundation. We do have a donate page. It's www.lwnfoundation.org slash donate. Help us to be able to help others. That's what we do here. We help others. We're opening up a referral center where we can get people the resources that they need. We're planning to open up a uh, transformational center next year. That's what the hope is. But we need your help. We are a nonprofit foundation. Help us help somebody else make a difference in somebody's life. We appreciate you. Um, that's about all I've got for tonight. We want to thank you for joining us on our first Friday night town hall. Get to know. <laughs> it is brought to you by the LWN Live with Nature Foundation. This is LWN Media Productions. Watch thank, us. Thank you, E360. TV. Yes, thank you, E360. We love you. So download that E360 TV app on your Roku, your Amazon Fire, Android, or Apple TV, and watch us at 7. That's our number, 7. I always love 7. 7 a.m. on Monday morning, sunrise, daybreaker. It's seven. a lucky number. Yeah, it's my lucky number. <laughs> 7 p.m. Uh, town Hall Get to Know on Mondays. Wednesdays, Ask Dr. Jenny. As a matter of fact, we'll be looking forward to next week, too. Uh, Steve and then to, Steve used to play for a little league team called Lucky Seven. I guess sevens are, yeah, in my history. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, I love baseball. Um, I do. And it's America's favorite game, isn't it? We make a lot more friends talking about baseball than uh, politics. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk. All, yeah, stay away from the <laughs> politics. <laughs> Can't all right <laughs> <laughs> so a little bit different show a little bit different variety tonight uh we appreciate that we're looking forward to this, this is going to be carrying on from now on fridays at seven we appreciate you remember if you're watching on the facebook and they haven't shut us off yet go ahead and share this video out if you're watching on youtube yeah go ahead share it hit make some comments up. hit the thumbs up we need the love we love you give us some love back all right Okay, that is it. Thank you for joining us. God bless you. Have a great week. Join me on Sunday, 7 p.m. for our special, What is Human Trafficking? Answers, Awareness, and Prevention. Two days from now. Make Two sure you join us on Sunday at 7. We'll see you then.